Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, getting you set for Sunday's Daytona 500 by breaking down my top drivers over on FanDuel. The top one for me is Denny Hamlin at $14,000, starting back in 30th after having some issues during the qualifying race on Thursday, but it was nothing too concerning. Just an issue entering pit lane. He should be pretty fast on Sunday. We know Hamlin has the goods to get it done at Daytona, a three-time Daytona 500 winner, including two of the past three runnings of this race. Hamlin is always near the front. He's going to have teammates up there as well and should have the speed to work his way forward pretty quickly on Sunday if he wants to. So despite the $14,000 salary tag, despite the fact he'll be very popular on Sunday, I don't care. Denny Hamlin is going to be in a lot of my lineups on FanDuel. Another guy starting deep in the pack after issues on Thursday night is Eric Almarola, starting back in 38th. He is $8,500 on FanDuel. Al- Almarola, another guy who has won previously in Daytona, doing so in the July race back in 2014. We've also seen him compete when the stakes are high in the Daytona 500. He was actually leading on the final lap a couple years ago. He got wrecked, but Almarola is a guy who knows how to run these super speedways. He has got it done before. He's won twice on these super speedways, including one over in Talladega, starting back in 38. So like Hamlin, he has a lot of place differential upside and the ability to finish well in this race too. Almarola to me is a cash game lock and someone I want to be aggressive with in tournaments as well. The third driver I'm targeting for this race is Austin Dillon, also starting back in 36th. He checks into $8,200. I talked before about Alma Rollin, how he almost won the Daytona 500. The reason he did not win is because Austin Dillon wrecked him on the final lap to win that race and get himself a Daytona 500 victory back in 2018. Dillon, again, has proven he can get the job done on this track type, starting back in 36, and has been good enough during Speed Week, so I'm not too concerned the fact that he is in a Chevrolet while Almarola is in a Ford. So to me, I think for cash games, it's pretty easy. Start things off with Hamlin, Almarola, Dillon, and then go from there. And honestly, I think all three are worthy plays for tournaments too, despite the fact they will be very, very popular. Dylan is a guy who also has a lot of teammates in this field, whether it be his actual teammate in Tyler Reddick, other Chevys, or other cars aligned with Richard Childress Racing. So to me, Dylan back in 36, the guy we know can get the job done. He's done it here recently. He's a savvy driver who tends to be around towards the end. So again, despite the fact he'll be popular, I will still be there on Sunday with Dylan. That's all we got here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up for the Great American Race coming up on Sunday. Get those lineups in and have some fun and enjoy our first full NASCAR slate of the year. 